Okay. Arrived in the Maloka. It's nice and cozy here. So, here we go again, ayahuasca ceremony tonight, we just finished the campo ceremony, it was really, really beneficial, deep cleansing, deep, deep cleansing, look at my campo tattoo. <laughs> it was my second time and went pretty quickly, like 20 minutes in total. I got the, the marks and the medicine. I drink a lot of water and before three, four minutes, I was already throwing up. <laughs> was this yellow stuff from the liver coming up. That's a good sign. I hope it can help with the allergy that I'm dealing with at the moment. I wake up every morning with spots on my legs, which is scratching and I simply cannot find out why is it coming. So let's see if it's gone now, I hope. I went to the toilet and I went back again and I thought I was finished but no, I, I will try to drink some more water to see if there's anything left. And then came like four times as much as the first time. So like fill this, this amount of bucket with yellow nasty stuff so I'm happy that it came out of my system <laughs> so now we are here in, the, in our Malocas we have one each me and Lona and poor Lona and we are getting ready for a little siesta to relax and Center ourselves before the ceremony tonight. So just wanted to share my my thoughts and feelings and intentions. And I hope that this ceremony now can help me to explore why I have low self-esteem sometimes and, and that can be seen as jealousy and we like to heal past traumas and discover why I sometimes get blocked for doing the things that I want to do and just get some guidance if I am on the right path or is there anything else I should do to help the mission here on the planet so let's see I'll catch up with you later
so I'm back. Wow. I don't even know where to begin. So the ceremony started at 9.30 in the evening. And first we got some tobacco juice slash tobacco tea. It's uh, from the tobacco plant in liquid. Put it in the hand and <laughs> through the nose. It cleanses you and grounds you and preparing us from the ceremony. Soon after, we got the first cup of the ayahuasca. And while we were absorbing that, the shamans, the medicine man and the woman, we cannot mention their names for good reasons, but they started to sing their Icaros songs. And after one hour, they asked us if we could feel anything. And me and another, we could not feel anything yet. Um, so they started with this activation Icarus that really activates the medicine. And when they were done with that one, they asked us, what about now? <laughs> and then I was like, whoa, yeah. Now we are talking, now we are on. So, yeah, I have written some notes to remember everything. And when the medicine entered me, it was like Mother Ayahuasca was when was going deeper and deeper into my subconscious mind. And I was starting to see these geometric symbols and patterns and a lot of colors and really beautiful, beautiful stuff. I can't really describe it. But as always, and my last three ayahuasca ceremonies has been, it's always like only love. It's all about love. Maybe I have been in need of that love so that I could heal my past traumas and heal the low self-esteem that I have sometimes. And just to get everything shown that everything is perfect and it is exactly how it should be. I was hearing this voice, don't stress or doubt anymore. So the spirit took over my body and gently pushed me backwards in my seat, pushed my head backwards and opened my mouth so she could enter through my mouth. It was like a spiritual doctor slash dentist or whatever we can call it. So I surrendered completely and trust that it was for, for my own healing and we were doing this together. So I have the visions and the feelings that you were entering my mouth, scanning my head, my body, my throat, everything just going through here and just scanning everything to see where where are the problems, where, where can what can we fix. And um, was starting to shake in my body, especially in my legs. So like, it felt like I was releasing a lot of stock energy that has been in my legs, especially. And that energy doesn't serve me. So why don't, why should we go and keep it? So I was fading away again into the most beautiful paradise in the whole universe. It was like home. I know this place. This is the source where we come from. After a little while, I came back to my body again. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, okay. I'm sitting in this maloka that is in behind me. And I couldn't find out. Oh, 
did I have open eyes all the time or were they closed or it was so dark inside that you actually didn't know the, the difference. <laughs> so I had a lot of tears running down. I was not crying but a lot of tears coming down of my eyes. Um, I guess this was the way for me to release because I actually didn't throw up once and I didn't go to the toilet once. So I guess this was the, the, the way for me to, to release and also because maybe the, the campo earlier on the same day has done a really good job um, with all this thrown up yellow nasty shit <laughs> that, that went into the bucket. So uh, the medicine man and the woman they started to sing private Icaro songs for us that matches our intentions that we told them in the beginning. They were extremely powerful, full of love, healing, prayers, and of course, a lot of aqua de flore, flower water, sprayed over us, which has been, which is the highest frequency of all flowers on earth. After a little while again, not remember everything but suddenly my grandma was here she died last year but she came here to, to give me the biggest hug so that was amazing and it was a nice feeling no sadness I was smiling the whole ceremony I was laughing it was full of joy, full of love, full of light. It was, yeah, I can't really didn't describe it. I was, I feel more happy than I have ever been before. I didn't really expect anything negative. I didn't experience anything negative. Um, only the, the thing that it's waste of time to go and, and, and discuss or fight with people or have bad energy between people and it's, it's a waste of time and that's not why we are here. We are love, that's what we are. Everything else is an illusion. So after five hours, I guess, we ended the ceremony with another round of the tobacco. And we were also smoking the, to the tobacco called Mapacho. Mapacho is also cleaning your energy field and grounding you and yeah, release everything negative, protects for everything negative. So it was really powerful, really, really high frequency in there. So the medicine and woman, they now song the last songs with their beautiful angelic voices. It was incredible. Incredible how they can guide the medicine. So, this was the best experience I've ever had in my life. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you should try this. For your own good and for everyone's good. Aho, Amen, Gracias, Namaste, Thank you, See you. <laughs> but first, maybe you want to take a look in the Maloca. So here's the place where the magic happens. Let us know if you want to join one of our coming retreats.
this is amazing have a good one